that it should be quick and easy. Uh, what's the value of x? What we need to do here is we need to think about the um, side splitter theorem uh, corollary, which says that if you have several parallel lines and you have transversals cutting through them, then you're going to get proportional segments within each particular uh, transversal. So how does that help us here? Well, we've got, we can set up a proportion then that 24 is to x as 36 is to 12. Okay? So let's say 24 over x equals 36 over 12. Multiplying the diagonals, we get 12 times x equals, I'm sorry, that's not what we get. We get 12 times 24 equals 36 times x. I always have to multiply the diagonals. Um, and I'm going to write what we get as a result up here, uh, 288. I happen to know this. How did I know it was 288 just off the top of my head? I know that half of this is 12. So if I did 12 times 12, I got 144. But that was actually double what I should have been multiplying by. So instead of 144, I got 288. Just a little mental math trick. Okay? And equals 36x. Now we've got to divide both sides by the coefficient to find out what x is. And we're going to find out that x is equal to... Um, notice this. If I was to write this as a division problem, 288 into 36, I'd say 36 doesn't go into 2. 2 is not big enough. It doesn't even go into 28. 28 is not big enough. It's got to go into the whole thing. So now I say, all right, well, if it's got to go into the whole thing, I'm just going to guess and check what it is. So I'm just going to guess 36 times, I don't know, mm, 7. Let's try it. Uh, I'll use a different color. 36 times 7. And in fact, I'm going to do this. I know a little clue here. I don't know that it's actually going to be a whole number, but um, see how the number here is 288? It's got an 8 in the ones place. Well, whatever I multiply 6 by, if it went in a whole number of times, I would be getting an 8 in the ones place. So 6 times what gives me an 8 in the ones place? Well, 6 times 8. So I'm going to change my guess to that. Okay? Uh, 36 times 8, because then 8 times 6 is 48. Carry the 4. 8 times 3 is 24, plus 4 is 28, and that is our 288. So it was 36. 36 times 8 is 288, so 288 divided by 36 is 8. And that's the answer.